Hi, you guys. This is Antoinette coming to you from Creations PS91. We're here. We crochet, sew, and quilt. If this is something that you are interested in, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell symbol so you will know when I upload a video. Okay, you guys. So in this segment, knowing your crochet pattern, I am going to do a series calling reading your labels on your yarn right so i don't even know if a lot of people look at that but i'm going to break it down for you guys so today we are going to talk about the article number um but first let me get my notes and my glasses right <laughs> because i need both of those <laughs> okay so what i got for you guys today is um it's, the series is going to be how to read your um, your yarn labels. Um, there is a lot of information on the yarn labels, so I am going to break them down over a course of months. Um, and yeah, information, I always say, knowledge is power, so we're going to break it down for you, <laughs> okay? So today we are talking about the article number which is, let me read it, what it says, put my glasses on. Um, the article number is a handy, it says, um, this number comes in handy when ordering yarn from the manufacturer. Um, and I got some yarn here, because I wanted to show you guys. And so right here, in the highlighted area, that's the article number right there. So if you ever wondered, what is the article number? This is the article number. <laughs> and so when you are ordering, you know, from the manufacturer, there you go right there, right? Okay, so our next breakdown is the brand name. Okay, so when I was uh, thinking about this series, I thought about what company owns yarn more than one, right? Yarn, co um, one company owning a lot of yarn. Um, so... It is yarn, uh, yarn inspirations. Okay, so that company owns. Um, I got it right here. Carn, Burnett, Red Heart, and Sugar and Cream. Now, if you didn't know that, there you go. <laughs> um, they do own it, and I and I got some yarn, you guys. Um, to show you, if you ever looked at it, it's actually on the, the labels. So this one right here is, oh, not that one. That one is the article number. Okay, so this one right here, Red Heart. And Yarn Inspirations is right here. Okay? Red Heart, Yarn Inspirations. So on this one, on the current yarn, Yarn Inspiration is right there. <laughs> Biggest day, right? So, when you are wondering, like, how do I get some more yarn or what's going on? Yarn Inspiration is the place to go. Yarninspiration.com. You can get these. Um, if you look at Red Heart or Karn, if you type in that, they're going to send you directly to um, yarn inspirations. Okay. So in my notes, you guys, it's saying, let me get my glasses on. Um, so a yarn company may manufacture seven different yarns, which is yarn inspirations. Okay. And so, and I also wanted to talk about the cleaning, the care instructions for the yarn. And this is something, I don't know if, if you thought about or anything like that. I know, um, back in the day, early on, I really didn't. I just saw some yarn and was like, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> so not even thinking about, um, what I'm using it for or what project I'm going to have it for. I was just getting it because it was pretty, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, I know we have a tendency of doing that. I know I do. So anyway, <laughs> so with the care instructions, which is always on the label, guys, which is, okay, so this one, let me show you this one. Okay, so this one right here is all highlighted here, 
right? The care instructions. So if you can see it. And it tells you, you know, machine washable, dryable. But then you have your symbols right down here that is stating like how hot the water is, not to dry it, not to, um, you know, to wash it in certain warm or cold temperatures and stuff. But I want to know, have anybody seen this right here before? that P. If you know what that is, put it down in the comments because a lot of people don't know what that means. <laughs> so put it down in the comments if you know what that P symbol means, okay, on the label. And I will tell you guys next time Okay, <laughs> on knowing your crochet pattern. <laughs> I'll give you the answer to that one. But if you know, that would be just like, wow, because there's so many people who don't know. <laughs> so put it down in the comment, guys. All righty. And so now, since we have all that, um, when you are, you know, the care instructions, when you're doing your care instructions, when you're looking at it, you want to get the same kind of similar yarns. If you want to mix, mix and match your yarn, make sure, you know, the, you know, the washing instructions are, you know, that stuff is kind of the same because if you make a garment and you decide to wash it and one is saying one thing and the other yarn is saying the other thing and you wash that thing and that thing, one side going to be stretched and the other side ain't. <laughs> And you're going to have a hot mess. <laughs> and all of that work you've done, you don't want to mess that up, right? So pay attention to the care instructions when you get ready to do your, um, your projects, okay? So that is it for me, you guys. I hope that you have learned something today. And don't forget, drop it down in the comments what you think that P is, okay? All right, you guys. So I will see you guys on the next video. This is Antoinette saying goodbye, you guys. See you on the next.